There was a video that was going viral, and it looked like you were charged up against some old guy outside of a certain individual's place, right? Now, what was going on with that whole situation, man? Uh, and that, that's a, um, that was that video is like, like what, like that was was old by time dropped. It was like a year old, something like that. Um, it just somebody dropped it, edited it up, took out all the um, incriminating things about them, but only put the criminating things about me in the video, but it was edited up. So, you know, like I said, man, it's just people chasing clout, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't even deal with them people with that video, man. You know what I'm saying? Wish them the best though, but you know, they tried the little clout run, tried to drop some old shit, edit it up, make me look like the devil and put it out there. But like I said, man, I don't, I don't address who I tell me, tell me dead up. Like, who, who is the old guy in the video? Do you know him? Um, no, um, uh, from my understanding, he was a trick. Wow. Old trick. He was a customer that pays for, um, that pays Whoa. Well, well, yeah, that's crazy, man. Well, you're saying that basically that whole situation was put out there on social media in a way to kind of get get at you because you feel like yeah. you're being attacked from different for a different angle. It was um it, it was just put out there, you know, trying to sabotage my character. If you look at it, you could tell it was edited up. Um the way it was presented is not what happened. It's not the truth. You know, so like I said, man, I just didn't want to address it because I really don't care about the situation of nobody in the video. So I just really cares. Let them do what they do. Well, Subi Badass, I wanted to ask you another question, man, real quick. Now, there was a situation where a, a, another platform and they had ran some, some stories about you at night. And I believe one of the guys by the name of Alex Alonzo had reached out to me about an interview we had recently did. What is your relationship with him and that in that platform? It is a relationship with me and Mr. Alonzo in this platform. It's crazy, right? Because I've never met him a day in my life. I talked to him a few times on the phone or whatever. Back in, I'm going to say, 2018, he, I was supposed to do an interview. I was supposed to do an inter a street guy's interview. Good. And this was when I was really the homies and shit. And I actually talked to him from my big hobby, Greg, uh, back house in the hood on Holly. And we were supposed to set up the interview or whatever. But when I got off the phone with him, a lot of niggas from my hood, even the hobby, Greg, and they was like, man, don't do that interview. They say everybody that goes off street games, they get stuck in a box and it puts gang unit in the police saw you and you become a target or whatever. So you don't really need to uh, mix that with your, with, with your platform. Like, you feel me? So. Ever since then, I kind of avoided the street gangs platform like for years. And then he reached out to me some years later, asking me about an interview. And you know me, I'm a straightforward cat. I told him how I felt about his platform. I told him, that, you know, I don't really feel your platform like that. And I feel like it's police-ish. I feel like it's giving intel into the gang life on the internet, something we don't need, you know. And ever since then, he's became like an enemy of me. You know what I'm saying? He be, uh, even went to go, he even went out his way to go try to find the, to find the dude that I allegedly was supposed to told on it and saying he want to help and it's really acting to try to hurt me because he know I would never grace his platform with my elegance. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it's really, he just on a uh, vengeful thing. He basically trying to show, he probably, probably trying to show me that, yeah, without me, you ain't going to make it. Like, show how to prove the opposite of what I told him. You know what I'm saying? But... Like all these other weirdos, he's a he's an obsessed fan. I mean, he, he's obsessed with the story and the legacy and the legend of Sylvie Banass. You know what I'm saying? He wants to know more about me and dig into my life, you know. But do I know him? I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't know him. I never met him. Um, that's what he it with the Alex Alonzo do. He's oh okay. Now, here's a question in closing uh, of this topic. Is it a possibility for reconciliation or you guys being or you guys being in talking or is that a possibility? No, no, no. I would never sit down with him or with nobody in his platform. That is when it comes to Snoopy Badass, that platform we consider over here killing an enemy platform. We don't deal with that platform. So, you know, it's like I'm 50 cent they the source. They supposed to drop bad shit about me. I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I doubt put that over there. That shit is the police. 
you ask me. Okay, man. We'll and we'll leave it right there. I I just wanted to get your opinion on that because you know I would, it's, I would never f with nobody like that. I don't like his character. I don't like the character of nobody on his shows. I don't like the intent, the the the, the intentions in the agenda of that platform. So, you know, there will never be no reconciliation with me or anybody on his platform. All right, and we'll just, right. yeah, they, they need to just stay away from me. I stay away from them. I, I'm on that. I haven't said them. I don't want nothing done to them. I just want them to stay away from me because I don't I don't deal with that. I'll kill you. And like I said, like that, hey, that's 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 your story. You know what I'm saying? So we'll leave it right there. I we'll leave it right there. <laughs>